All right, so I just finished Soccer Dog. This is a Labrador who is um, pushing up this ping pong ball. And uh, I saw this on the internet about, I don't know, five or 10 years ago. And I thought, that is pretty cool. I can make one of those. I think the guy who made it was making it as a tribute to a dog of his that passed away. But I'll go through the details inside. But basically, the tail wags twice as often as he flips his head. So this is, you have a little handle here, and this is what he does. So. <laughs> Third try. Whoa. Well, I haven't been very dutiful in uh, taking uh, any document, making any documentation videos or photos or anything of this, but I drew it on the side. That'll all have to come off, of course, and uh, I've been trying to engineer this ball, and I just stuck the tail in, and I gotta make it wag. I'm gonna try and do that through one of these skew cams inside. Anyway, I'll be showing all this, but this is about 80% of the mechanics anyway. Well, here is uh, here is the view from above of all the pieces. I'll just quickly go through these. You've got um, here and here, there are these gears I cut out. And the the main gear drives a one of these snail cams that is going to uh, lift this piece here, which lifts the dog dog's head. I'll show all this all again in, in the finals, but the uh, gear then drives this other gear, which is half half as big, so it's going around twice as much, drives this skew cam, and the skew cam drives this piece, and this piece uh, comes out of the tail, and here's the tail out of the, the back end of the dog, and the tail, so the tail is wagging twice for every time that the dog is flipping its head once. So I'll try to do this and do it and hold it at the same time. If you follow the skew, you can see the skew is what's going to wag the tails, the tail of the dog, and the snail cam is what's going to bop his head up and down. <laughs> 